over here. Yeah, that was a that was a good one right there. That's the mini tuber, Frank. You see, these are all first generation. Look at the size of this one, even. Yeah. With no rain. That's very nice. So they each, yeah, they each one of them separate. Okay. And they just put the A. This is 22. No, I didn't say A22. Okay. Just put A22 on it. I can do the other. I know it's all going to be different anyway. Okay. One, two, three, four, or five. So. There's the phone. Towards the bottom of the bag is easiest if I have it down there. I can still see it when we tie it. So potatoes in every bag will be genetically distinct. Yep, everyone will be genetically distinct. You can see the little color differences, but these are all reds. Each clone that looks promising is being bagged and stored away. We stored away for uh, further evaluations next season. Variation is just incredible with potatoes from seed. This particular clone has medium sized, very round tubers that broke freely from the rest of the plant. Uh, the eyes are shallow, the color is very nice and red. Whole family seems to have this trait. This particular plant is pretty large and green, looks healthy made a lot of underground stems and then really almost no tubers to speak of. Yep. This is from plant 112. Wow, very nice sized tubers for the, the space it's in. Yep, very nice shape, really productive given the weed pressure and the drought and everything that makes life so exciting. <laughs> Sitting on July 4 planting day, just pretty good. Yes. <laughs> so those will get a try next season. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I how fast I'll break dormancy. <laughs> that's beautiful. These are real nice sized potatoes. There's two plants here. This one's a good three, four inches, and it's got real shallow eyes with real dark pink purple eye, and it's got a, almost a pinkish potato. But there's quite a few of them on there, and they look pretty nice, especially for conditions. So, a couple of nice round white ones. Yeah. You've got a bunch of purple ones. Yeah, not the best ones I've had. So I want to know why people didn't come out here and dig potatoes today. <laughs> because this wasn't like a potato digging experience. This was more like an archaeological find where you actually got to interact with your potatoes and the digging was not that hard of work and we got to do all kinds of things and meet new people and it was really fun and I really think that next year I'd like to see 50 people out of helping to dig up his potatoes. Good friends, a nice day and a lot of potato germplasm to look for better varieties for gardeners in North Dakota. Come next year. Made a lot of selections today.